Hey guys, Casual Keyboard Guy back again with another tutorial. Um, today's song we'll be working on is Peg by Steely Dan. So, um, got any Steely Dan fans out there? Here you go. A uh, really fun song. Um, and um, we're going to get into it right about now. All right. Let's go. So that's it. Let's jump into these chords. So um, the intro, which is like a horn line going on over these chords. Um, if you want the horn line, hit me up. I'll give it to you. But we'll go over the chord changes. So you got an E major, um, G major 9. So you got um, your left hand. You got a G in the bass. G in the bass. You got a B. You got a D. You got an F sharp. And you got an A in your right hand. B, D, F sharp, A. <laughs> with a G in the bass. Now second chord. Uh, <clears throat> you got an F sharp. Kind of like a sharp, what is it, a sharp nine or something like that. But um, sharp nine, sharp five. So you got a, a A sharp, a um, E, and an A. Alright, so you're coming from you see this top note stays the same this note goes down half step and then this boat moves up a whole step to give you that chord so it's kind of all right there but i'm gonna show you each chord separate again b d f sharp a and then the next chord is going to be you keep this a in your in your right hand and then you play the b flat or uh, a sharp and the an e with the f sharp in the bass okay next chord is going to be f major nine be F A C E G F A C E G okay F and a bass same concept half step down whole step up and then you got this note staying the same over an E you got an E you got a um a G sharp you got a D and you got a, a G all right, so E, G sharp, D, and G for that chord. So, so if you see the pattern, the top note is staying the same. So, okay, next chord, you got a, a E flat. Major, so you got E flat, you got a G, you got a B flat, you got a D, and you got an F. E flat, G, B flat, D, and F. And then you can go down to this D chord. So you got D, F sharp, C, and uh, F. Alright? Same concept. E flat major, got that chord, and then this stays the same. Um, wait, this goes up a whole step, and this goes down a half step. These are the notes you're playing right here. F sharp, C, and F. So I'm gonna 
baca Can you see down there? All right, you can. All right. <clears throat> so let's go. Um, so that's the intro. So first verse. Got a C major nine. C, B, D, E, G. C in the bass. Then B, D, E, G. All right. And you just bounce on that. Bop, bop. Right, so bop, bop, and then when you go to this chord, now the bass is going to the G, well, just the piano part, you're going to the B for the chord, but I mean, you could do either one, you could go from the C to the, I'll show you both ways, so, so that second chord is going to be a B in the bass, and then you got A, D, and G, so basically your right hand chord is going from this, B, D, E, G, and then you're going to this. So basically your pointer finger can stay on the D and then your middle finger moves and then your thumb goes down to the A. All right. So. All right. Got that? And then you go to the B. Or you could do same chords on your right hand, but go to the G. So the bass is doing something like. Something like that. I don't know. I don't play it like that, but uh, I'll just play it like this. Just going to the B because the bass is holding that G down and doing all this funky stuff. So you don't want to like get caught up with the bass player. All right. So. Got those two chords. So the next chord pattern is going to be this F major um, nine. So it's going to be F in the bass and your, your left hand rather. F in the left. You got E. You got G. You got A. And you got C. Okay. So F in the left. E, G, A, C. All right. Then your second chord is going to be this. All right. So you're gonna have an E on your left, then you got a D, G, and C. All right. So again, the F. Then you go down half step for this chord. Okay. The only other chord in this. This verse part is this chord. So this is a little harder to play because it's kind of closed in around the black keys, but I'm gonna show you to you anyway. You got G, you got F sharp, you got uh, A, B, and D. So F sharp, A, B, and D. Over And then G in your left. And then go same bounce so you got f sharp e a d and just take your time learning these this because like this is the bulk of the song right here all right you got that so g f sharp a b d and you're right it's hard to see that Then you go on. All right, and then you go back to the F again. I just showed you that. And then you back at the C. All right, so that part just loops. So the pattern is C four times. This is C. twice and C twice 
then G twice, F twice, C twice. And then we're taking it out. All right. So taking it out. So you got the same C major chord I already showed you. All right, C, B, D, E, G. And that same second chord, all right? So you're going from the first and the second chord from the top of the verse. Okay, same two chords. And that's a different chord right here. You got A minor seven, you got A in the bass, you got G, C, and E, okay? A, G, C, E. And then you're doing like a, some type of E sus. So that's gonna be E, A, B, and E. Let's go over that. So that part is, so you got the B, E, and A over C sharp. All right, so C sharp, <coughs> B, E, and A. And then you go back, back to that C major nine, that C, B, E, B, D, E, J. You should know this chord already. We play this chord a lot, okay? So from this chord to that C major chord, and then you're gonna play a G. So G, G in your left hand. Then you're gonna do a B, D, and G. This is the third quarter of that passage. B, D, and G. Okay? With a G in the bass. And then you're gonna do F sharp. So it's gonna be F sharp, A sharp. E and F sharp on top. So F sharp, A sharp, or B flat, whatever. E and F sharp. So sound like that. So. Alright, that's where we at now. So you got a B minor 7. So you got a B, A, D, F sharp. So pretty much a B with a D. Triad. So B, A, D, F sharp. And then you're going to hit this chord. So you got E, G sharp, D, and G. You might not remember this chord, but we played this chord in the intro, in the uh, intro passage, but it's okay. So you got A sharp, D, and G with an E. Got that A. Um, you got that A minor seven again with the A G C E, and then you can just keep that um, that C in your right hand and just play a D over that. It's your favorite form on that part. So you got a. Uh, at that groove that C remember this do this twice okay do that twice and then you do this little movement all right so that movement is F sharp minor seven so you got F sharp A C sharp and E and you're right F sharp on the bass or on the left hand F sharp minor Seven. Then you got uh, that same B minor seven. I'll show you one more time, but we, we already did this chord. But A, D, and F sharp with a B in the bass. And then you got a uh, E minor minor seven. Uh, 
I'll just play it like this be easier. B, D, E, and G with an E in the bass. Okay? Boom, 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 boom. Um, then you go back to the, the, the B minor 7. And then you hit that C9 that we already know. Our favorite chord. <laughs> so, that whole part. So, um, I'm going to play through the whole song, but real quick, what I, what I wanted to show you on that opening part where they're doing the, uh, I told you the, the C, remember like I told you this, the, the, uh, this is the verse. So, I'm going to show you how you could do it with the bass going to the actual bass note. So, the bass is going from, so there's the same right hand chords, okay, don't get, don't get confused. The bass is going to G, and then when it switches to the F, Watch this, it goes from F to C, <laughs> then back to the C to G. And then it goes from G to D, F to C, then C to G. So that's what the bass is doing. But like I said, for keyboards, I'm just doing the half step. While the bass is doing the G. And you're not gonna hurt the bass by playing this half step. It's gonna sound great. So you can play either way you want to, but I like playing it with the half step. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'll start from the top. C twice. I'm gonna take it out to the chorus, pre chorus. part again. it guys so i hope you guys enjoyed that uh, one that was fun for me um keep tuning in keep liking keep commenting please i need the comments guys if you're enjoying this content please let me know um 
hopefully, um, you know, I can really start getting a lot of these tutorials out a little bit faster. I'm trying to go through the list. It's taking me a while because there's so many tutorial suggestions. But, um, you know, every once in a while, you know, I get a little burnt out. I ain't going to, you know, lie about it. And I just want to put some songs that I enjoy, which I actually started the channel about me just putting songs that I enjoy. So um, every once in a while, you'll see me just put up songs. If I don't say somebody actually asked for the tutorial, that's just me putting out songs that I enjoy. So um, so this is one of the ones I enjoy. Hope you hope you like it. If you're not a fan of Stilly Dan, please go check them out. They have a lot of good songs. So um, it's a casual keyboard guy, checking in and checking out.